You know when diagnosing issues with your road car, well it's not a lot dissimilar to the human body. There are always going to be symptoms, there's going to be those little telltale signs that let you know you've got a problem. Let's take a closer look. So when it comes to our human frame, it's actually not dissimilar to a chassis or the frame in your road car. We know that to have good efficiency, to have longevity, good articulation of all those joints, we have to look after them, we have to service them. So let's take a closer look at what some of those joint problems might actually be. Now I'm no doctor, but I know enough about it to be able to tell you if we look at a human joint, here's a knee, you can see when it's working effectively, nice articulation cap capability between the joints. As the material starts to break down in between the harder components, we have all sorts of drama and we end up with inflammation and that becomes very problematic. And one of the big issues is that when you have one joint starts to fail, it actually can load other joints and then you can end up in a situation where you end up with a much bigger drama down the track. Now when we apply that, to the automotive world, we see the very same thing. When the components start to break down, we get this sort of activity happening. And if you have a look, this one here looks like my pops knee joint. Um, not very healthy at all. And that's gonna create obvious dramas. And when you see that in the flesh, it can end up looking as bad as that. There's some deteriorating, that doesn't look that bad, but look how off center that pin is in the middle. That's what good looking stuff should look like. Now. When we apply that in terms of symptoms, just like you would have in your body, what do you look for? Well, here's some of the things that you can feel from the driver's seat. Vibrations, that's an obvious one. We often get those when the car or those joints are breaking down. Shutters, similar thing, shutters in the car and you will typically feel those through the steering. Uneven tyre wear, that is a dead giveaway for something that is worn in your front suspension or rear, but particularly the front, irregular steering, or steering that's not at 12 o'clock on a straight bit of road. If you're holding your steering at five past one or five past two or somewhere in between, you may have a problem. And poor braking, and that can be with braking efficiency, or when you put your foot on the brake pedal, what we call bump steer, where the car will sometimes deviate slightly away from a straight line. So when you think about this, when you get a little bit of joint wear, it is often, you know, symptomatic of problems throughout the car, just like on the human body. If you have one joint failure, it'll put additional stress on other joints around it, or it'll be a really good sign that things around you are starting to age. So in the same way that if you feel any of those human symptoms with your body, you're quick to contact your doctor, I'd suggest if you start to feel any of those symptoms from the driver's seat, sometimes they'll be through your butt, sometimes they'll be through your feet, sometimes you'll feel it through your hands, contact your automotive specialist.